Hey everybody, it's Tika Masala Day. This is my first go at it, so we'll see how things go. My neighbor dropped off some Haas avocado, so I'm really excited about that. The uh, audio wasn't very good, so I'm doing the voiceover here. So this is my first cooking video. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Um, I ordered a mic to try and help out with this but um uh, let's see so here's the sauce that I use tikka masala yeah it's delicious um what I'm gonna make today I call uh, a refrigerator stew style because I'm using the rest of the cauliflower and potatoes and onion that I had left over from my chicken curry Oh, and tofu. So, um, I hope you'll stick around and watch um, me attempt to do this. So, first we're going to um, go ahead and boil the uh, cauliflower and onion and potatoes. Notice I just barely wave the salt over the pan. And then we'll add the vegetables. Two slices of white onion. I cut up uh, three small potatoes, the last potatoes I had, so I wanted to use them up. Uh, let them sit in some water for a while to uh, get some of the starch out. And now adding them to the pan. Use two cups of water wave the salt shaker over the potatoes again and then we'll let it simmer for well until they're at the desired consistency okay next we're going to do about a tablespoon of olive oil and we're going to saute the tofu we squeeze the water out of it this is about a half a block of the tofu and i get the uh, extra firm squeeze the water out of it and then we'll um, saute it until it's golden just stirring gently for a few minutes I like tofu um, because it absorbs the flavor of whatever dish you're making I don't use it very often but when I do then I remember how much I liked it <laughs> yeah definitely Okay, so usually tikka masala is just like chicken and onions, but like I said, I'm making like a refrigerator stew. Okay, so now I have some roasted chicken, roasted cooked chicken. I'm adding Weber. It's called chicken chicken spice, and that adds a little more flavor. And I'll saute that with the tofu for a few minutes, let the tofu absorb some of that um, chicken chicken spice. See me gently, gently, gently adding the chicken, gently stirring it up. And it's on a medium heat now, so we'll let that stir up for a few minutes before we add the sauce. Okay, now it looks like we're ready to add the sauce. This particular sauce is not really spicy. You um, can taste it yourself and then um, add whatever you like to add. Sometimes I'll add cilantro or um, coriander because I really like coriander. Um, this sauce can be uh, found at Aldi's. It's about mm, $3 for the jar. And it makes me about four meals usually now here I add a little bit of water to the jar one because the sauce is pretty thick as you can see and I like to get the rest of the sauce out of the jar so I just add a little water shake it up and add it because when you cook it you're gonna get rid of um, the excess water anyway so 
that just helps the sauce stay the correct consistency by the time it's finished. So coat the tofu and the chicken first and then we'll add the vegetables. I tend to cook mine a little softer than maybe most people like uh, because I have to eat softened food. But it's still good. Okay, and then we'll stir this some more to coat these vegetables as well. Yes, sirree. This is making me hungry already. At this point, I had pretty much decided that the iPad voice wasn't going to capture everything, so I'm practicing with voiceover this time, so I didn't say anything while I was doing this, and I'll probably add some text titles. Okay, so then here we go, and you lower the heat, cover it, and lower the heat, and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Okay, now we're back and our sauce, our tikka masala is simmering very nicely. And now I'm going to make the ray tea, I think. It uses two cucumbers, some cilantro, some garlic. I like the garlic paste because then I don't have to chop up the garlic. And Greek yogurt. My trusty little blender, which works pretty well. It's small, but it works well. And then the milk is just to help uh, get things blended. I just add a little bit at a time. Um, people like to add tomato to this as well, which I do also, but I looked in the cupboard and the refrigerator and I didn't have any tomatoes, so this time we're not getting any. Um, so you scoop out the seeds from the cucumbers and as it turns out, I'm going to end up only using one cucumber for this batch. But uh, I'll get some more Greek yogurt and make another batch for the rest of the tikka masala. Okay, now we're in the slice and dice portion of our recipe for rea tea. need to cut the cucumbers relatively small because of the size of the blender. It's got little blades so I have to make them pretty small and we'll have to like coax it to get it to start blending but uh, it works pretty well. You'll see as we move along here. So I've been making tikka masala for years and only recently looked up a recipe for the rayata after my daughter and I went to um, an Indian restaurant and got both and uh, I realized how much it just added to the flavor of the tikka masala. Okay so I just chop chopped off the top of the bunch of cilantro and uh, now we're gonna chop it up here so I put about half of um, the diced, well actually about a quarter of the diced cucumber and we'll take about half of the cilantro and uh, we'll add some garlic. Here we go, about a half a teaspoon of garlic. You can add more to taste. You can also add salt. You'll notice I don't add any salt. Um, I prefer to salt at the table. Um, but some people like to add it to their recipe. So I'll use about half of the container here of the Greek yogurt. And then we'll add this half of the cilantro 
and so we'll get that blended up before we add the other half just a little dash of milk just to help it get blended and you'll notice that I didn't plug it in <laughs> so here we go we're gonna plug it in and then we'll have to pulse it a bunch of times before we get things moving and we'll have to stick our spoon in there and stir it up a little maybe even add a little milk yeah stir it up please excuse my arm this is the best situation I have in the kitchen right now I'll work on setting things up better if I do more videos yeah smack it <laughs> that always helps things stir it up maybe add a little more milk because once it gets going then when we add the second batch of cucumber and cilantro it'll go really quick we just have to get the first part liquidated yeah, keep stirring I wonder if I smack it again <laughs> okay you notice I keep pushing it just to pulse it there we go now we're getting some action. Here we go. Yep. Okay, so now we've got like a base to get started with. And then we can add the rest and the rest will will pulse real easily. It's just getting that first part started. Okay, so I've added the rest of the cucumber that I'm going to put in there, the cilantro, and I forgot to add onion, so now that we've got um, the base liquidated, uh, the onion will suffuse through the whole rest of it. So I'm glad I remembered to add it because onion's pretty important. I did add another teaspoon of garlic as well. See, so the second half just punches up real easily and keep pulsing it until you have the desired consistency some people like to just leave things chunky um, like I said I need it relatively smooth and here's my riata if you add tomato it comes out a little bit more pinky but I like it green and white I'll add some diced tomatoes to help and then here we're ready to go and this is at the point where the whole house smells delicious and I'm hungry so I'm gonna dish me up some stew some tikka masala stew so because I I usually make it with the basmati rice with uh, coriander but since I did potatoes, what I'll end up doing is eating um, maybe half of this with the potatoes, just scooping the potatoes out. Um, and then the rest I'll uh, have with rice. Okay, and so, like I said, I usually do one dish meals. So I'm just going to put some riata over on the side. And in a second here, I'm going to move it over here so you can see. Here we go. Yeah. So I just put a little bit on the side. I really love the riata. It just is such a delicious... Oh, I forgot to tell you. You want to um, chill it for about 15, 20 minutes uh, before you serve it. Okay, and now we're going to sit down here and have a meal.
since I put potatoes in this one, I'll, eat, I'll end up eating all the potatoes out of it, and then I'll make some rice to go with the rest. But that pot will give me probably four meals. Here we go. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and give me a chance. Please feel free to critique and make suggestions because uh, I would like to continue doing um, cooking videos.